gracefully out the window with a glass of whiskey. Well, I'll let you know. He is waiting for the game session to finally get us into this heist. Yo, what is up everybody? This is JJ Supreme Order 16. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be bringing you some gameplay of GTA 5. And I'm not just bringing you any normal gameplay of GTA 5. It's what you guys have been waiting for for so long. It's what I've been waiting for for so long. And I was so excited to finally play these. Man, it was so fun. You guys have probably already seen the intro. I'll explain that a little bit. The heist, baby. Now in a little bit I'll explain where I've been in the past few days and I'll explain also the different character roles that we have during this heist and what Lester is pretty much saying here. Um, first off, this is the first heist of five heists that were given to us with the new update from the heist. And baby, do you guys know how freaking long I've been waiting to play this man? Wow. First things first, my server was acting so stupid. I guess pretty much all of the Rockstar and GTA 5 servers were really screwed up on um, GTA 5, Xbox, and PlayStation because so many people were hopping on at the same time that it was pretty much screwing it up and people were getting kicked offline, getting kicked out of the servers, getting kicked off GTA Online. It took about five hours before I actually got into a server and I just uh, recently got to play this last week. Even though the service was still kind of screwed up, I finally got to record this. It was hard recording the setup itself. So, pretty much what we're doing in this heist is um, we are with a character named Lester, the secret mastermind behind the genius robbery on GTA 5 story. If you guys have uh, ever played the GTA 5 story, I really haven't gotten to play it all the way because I just like playing online, which I do for COD as well. And I probably should play story modes more often, probably give you guys little tutorials so that way you guys probably won't get confused on stuff or other new games. You know what? I should do that. Back to the heist. Um, for this one, there are two specific roles that your character has, and you have to get this safety deposit box, which is 167, from the Fleece Bank that you guys have probably always seen right by that small quickie mark that always gets robbed on the expressway. Yep, that one. Lester needs a specific um, type of stuff that was inside one of the security deposit boxes, I guess. I'm not really sure what he said, but... I probably should let you guys listen to that. But anyways, your job is to go retrieve it. There are two people. Um, I'm joined by my friend Equan or the Ekini Soldier. I'm sorry, Caitlin. I forgot your gamer tag. By the way, shout out to her because she was really awesome as a driver. She was even better than me at driving. Man, that was crazy. Pretty much what you've got to do is um, my character's role was the driller and the hacker. The first thing that I pretty much do is... Um, you guys have already seen these in the other um, video, the intro to Fleece Bank. I probably should have given um, a intro or either a commentary for that, but they pretty much explain the gameplay, so I'll explain that intro in a little bit. Um, for my character, we um, are hacking into the network system of the Fleece of Bank pretty much with the phone, and you guys get to see me screw up horribly while I was trying to record this. I tried to look all awesome, but I kept messing it up, making the video more prolonged. I was going to restart this, but I was like, nah. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much what I do for that. And then once we enter the bank, my character is supposed to go drill into the system, or actually drill um, with a driller into the safety deposit box, breaking the little lock so that you can get it and retrieve it. Now, I want to explain to you guys real quick, while you're drilling into the safety deposit box, um, when it pops up to use the left um, moving stick and the RT button, you want to make sure that you don't hold up the left stick too hard or either all the way up like you're running because that will end up messing up the drill and you will have to keep letting it cool down. It took me about a good hour to actually find out while I was playing with my brother on here before I actually got to finally figure out how to do it. So pretty much what you want to do is hold the stick up lightly um, until you probably see the screw inside the, um, the drill stop shaking. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. When you're holding it up all the way, uh, let it go and only lift it up about a tad bit. You'll see it shaking a little bit. Move it in a position where it'll stop. That way you can start drilling. 
That means that the drill is right in place where it needs to be. It's not shaking or anything to cause it to turn red and it'll need to cool down. That's the fastest way to get it. You guys will see in the gameplay itself how I did it, and you'll probably get a better understanding of how that is. In the second um, character's role, which was um, Caitlyn's role, was to be the driver, and while she was controlling the crowd, she was crowd control. She was pretty much just watching to make sure that people wouldn't sound the alarm if the um, crowd control yellow bar were to go down and you know it just pretty much sound the alarm and you failed the mission. Now the best way to get the crowd control under control is to shoot by them on the floor. That's the best method to do I guess pretty much so that way you don't hurt anybody. Actually don't kill anybody because then you'll end up messing up the mission. You can shoot everywhere else, but the most effective method is to shoot right right, uh, right by them or either punch them. If you hit them with a gun, of course, they're going to die. Make sure you can just stomp on them once, but don't do it too many times. And don't shoot them with a flare gun. It will end up killing them. And one of the flare guns was uh, one of the updates for the heist, so I was really happy to get that. Not so much so powerful, but it gets to set cars on fire while it's sitting there. So that's a really good thing, especially going against policemen. But back to the heist. That's pretty much all that is. And then you drive to a big old airplane that's in the middle of the street in the air. You guys will see that it has a huge magnet pretty much where you get to escape like on some GTA 5 fused with 007 type shit. So it'll be really awesome. Now from the intro uh, to the fleece job, I was going to explain to you guys that... Pretty much all you had to do was get the Kimura car, which is like the super fast sports car that you unlock during this heist. You unlock different items and cars and weapons during the heist, which is really fun, especially for those that don't have much experience in GTA 5 or like starting out just now. They get to keep certain items or either they have to buy it. Most weapons they are given, uh, like in the intro from the very beginning when you set up the room and your heist inside your super awesome duper apartment. You get to have a heist room where you get to set it up and all the items that are in there are pretty much what you have for the weapons and stuff that they give you and different outfits. I believe you get to keep the outfits. I'm not really too sure on that because I pretty much purchased almost everything that's up to date with my character's level, which I believe now I'm a level 67. This was recorded about a week ago as I probably already told you guys that. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. So, um... After that, you have to practice hacking into the system once on the intro, and that way you'll learn. I guess I need a little more practice because I kind of sucked on this. Thought I was really awesome, and it took us a little while longer. But Caitlin's got patience, so yeah. Alright, so to explain to you guys where I've been for the past few days, I know you probably hate me for that, but I'm really sorry. Pretty much what happened was my HTP VR kept being a douche and didn't want to record gameplays. So it took about a few days to get it fixed. And then, right as soon as I was recording, the stupid computer decided to freeze for some weird reason. So I had to turn it off, turn it back on. And right when I turned it back on, the Arc Soft Showbiz um, editing software that I have from the HTP VR decided to have corrupt files on it I don't know what happened with that probably the GTA service that was so screwed up got it to my computer itself yeah let's blame Rockstar for everything let's blame Microsoft yeah let's do that but pretty much anyways um what happened with that was that my stuff got corrupt and I had to delete the whole ARC software and when I got back online the next day I was trying to record and then I kinda forgot what happened I was like ah what happened to my recording software and it took me like two days just to find out how to re-download it the CD setup uh, CD that I got when my brother purchased the HTTP VR uh, didn't have it all it had was um, hey Paul capture and the custom logo that you get to make which I never really got to fool around with because I'm too lazy to do that I probably should do that though but anyways um, that's the only things that really came with it so I looked up on YouTube how to download it for free and you guys could probably just look that up. The first video that pops up is pretty much the one that you need. And I downloaded it from Mediafire. And I put in the activation code that we had before. And it, it gave me it free again. And I got the updated version. So that's even better. And it doesn't freeze like the other um, old previous out of date software. This one's really good. It runs very efficiently. So I'm really happy that it actually happened. But yeah, pretty much right here guys. Um, the drilling is better. 
if you were to hold it while you're waiting. I believe I paused during that. Um, see, see, I was shaking a little bit, and then I sat there and waited for it to stop shaking. That's how I knew where um, to let it keep going. The drilling would have been faster, but I kind of slacked a little bit. I was trying to look at my phone while I was drilling. <laughs> Me, I got a nice clean getaway. And if you guys are wondering why my character is wearing that anime character costume mask, it is um, Robot Princess Bubblegum from the um, from GTA 5. I forgot where they show it at. I think it's on the internet on your phone or whatever, but yeah, you just looked it up. So pretty much after you're done robbing a bank, all you really want to do is have a clean getaway from the police and stuff. And try not to kill anybody while you're leaving a bank or else you'll fail the mission as well. Well, you could kill the police, but not the hostages because you don't want that to happen. And this car is really fast. I really like it. It's one of the best cars that they have on this game for getting away. And it has some nice nitro. It's got good control. Okay braking. Turning wise, you have to be really good at driving in order to get that fixed. Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much just... All I've got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Join back in for some more videos. I will be uploading regularly now again. Make sure that nothing like that persistently happens. And just in case I've got a um, capture card. And I've got a El Gato capture. And I've also got a Dazzle recorder which can record HD. It's not one of those stupid low profile type recordings. But anyways yeah. Uh, this GTA 5 heist was really fun. I should be uploading more Minecraft videos within a few weeks. I'm going to start making that series permanent and I'm going to make it weekly instead of every two weeks because Minecraft is the shit. And I want you guys to really see my world that I practice so much on. And at the end of this video, you guys get to see how much of the cut that we get. Uh, we have this on hard and it also gives you different types of... um. Uh, pretty much goals that you get to make for yourself while trying to beat this it's like super um it's like pro goals they are trying to achieve like six percent less damage on the car that you need to have on the car in order to achieve that you also have nobody to die no restarts and you also get a first time bonus while you're playing a heist for the first time and if you're wondering how come the video is like really good in the quality is because i use the um Hey Paul capture at the beginning and kind of screwed up forgot how to really use that while I was recording the video and I tried to download it for so many times and my computer finally decided to work with me and I finally got the files but I finally got to show this so that won't be necessary but yeah the streaming was really nice alright peace out yo